Aloha, Hi Vibe Tribe. It is Pink Bella, also known as Tracy Lynn. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And I'll share this out on the platforms today. So I wanted to uh, bring in a message. Um, it is a two two portal, two 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 portal. Sorry, it is February 22nd. So this is a powerful time to align with our highest timelines and to release and let go and just let the universe know where it is you would like to go. So we're co-creating with the universe. And these messages are for all star seeds, light workers, and past 144,000 Blu-rays. And of course, we'll see if um, any messages come in for the divine unions and twin flames today as well. You never know. But if that's part of your path, if that's part of your manifestation, be crystal clear today. And whenever you watch this video, we're going to be in this portal. We've been in this portal since February 2nd, but we're going to be in this portal energy until the end of February. So be crystal clear with the universe on a daily basis about where you would like to go and what your highest timeline is. And if that divine partner is part of that journey, remember to include that as well. Try not to be specific with a name. Just let the universe work uh, magic and miracles for you. All right. Okay. So um, I'm back using StreamYard today. They've added a few options. So I wanted to see if I could record a video, if the quality would be great. And um, and then I can premiere it on my channel. I'm so grateful for you all to be here. So I'm going to actually do a card reading for us today because I know, I know the 222 portal. I've already done a video about the energies, but I know that today is such a magical day. We are getting galactic Activations. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to talk about first. We are getting activations from the Galactic Center and the Great Central Sun and our Sun. Uh, we are receiving such DNA expansion and neural pathway expansions. Uh, this has been going on since the weekend. So we just had an incredibly powerful solar flare. The solar flares are going to continue to get stronger and stronger. Oh, and by the way, I've started a podcast. So I've just started it. I'm only on episode two. The last two episodes have been about solar flares and our ascension. So I will be trying my best to do that on Mondays. It's all it's available on Anchor and Spotify, and I will be um, activating it across the other platforms. It's on my list to do, but that will be my way to do sort of an update, an energy update for you all, and I'll be able to share it. I shared it in the community tab. Community tab here on YouTube is where it's at. That's where I post many, many things. Oh, the energy just changed. Wow. Did you see that? A blue um, frequency just came in. Thank you. And um, yes. And then I'll be posting that on Telegram and where I can. So that's a great like beginning of the week update. And then as I can come in and do videos, either live or recording, I'll do them uh, in between everything else. All the other things the universe has me doing, I'm writing, client sessions, all sorts of things and collaborations. I'm super, super excited. Um, check out the community tab. I just did a great show with uh, Indigo Angel 222 and I wasn't able to post it on my channel, but I, I, am, uh, I do have a playlist now for uh, other shows that I'm going to be doing some, you know, uh, interviews with and uh, podcasts as well. So I'm super excited about that. Um, what else did I want to share? So we're, yeah, so we're in a massive galactivation. So this is going to continue and it's going to continue getting stronger every year. And one of the questions today was, I just slept so much and yet I'm so tired. Yes, we sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep and sleep. This allows us to do clearings. This allows us to be healed. This allows us to have meetings with our teams because we're traveling. Uh, many of us are traveling through stargates um, while we're sleeping, either on the planet or off planet to go have meetings with our teams. So we're in a really crucial point right now. January was really just about us being in a bubble and going slow and um figuring things out for the year. We're almost at the end of February. So February has been about high heart and heart chakra activations, bringing everything to the surface that might be triggering us so we can find ways to navigate around our loops. And that's what the last video was about. It was about time loops and um, going around in circles. Yeah. So that's our, actually a gift test because it's helping us heal. Now we're getting ready for March. March is going to have a, another powerful portal. It's obviously going to have a new moon, a full moon, but a 333 portal and uh, the equinox. So we're at a real um, launching period in March of 2023. So right now we're opening up our hearts and we're 
figuring out our heart's desires. And we want to be in complete alignment with the universe and say, this is what I wish for. If things show up in your reality and that's not what you want, reflect on it, look at it, figure out a way to release that and level up again to your next timeline. Okay. It's, it is true. Things are not happening to us. They're happening for us to heal and clear. I actually have worked out, um, a scenario with my teams now that they make it easy. They're bringing the messages in easy. So already this morning before a session, I cleared the 70s and the 80s. There were aspects of myself that needed to come in into this now moment. It's so fascinating. Yeah. So we're going through massive activations. You might either be oversleeping, undersleeping. Our upper chakras are getting targeted through this expansion. Neuropathways, uh, upgrading the ultra major or zeal point, um, throat chakra, third eye. This is this technology is our light technology system that's being upgraded as well. Meridians that are being like the skull area and the teeth, uh, aches and pains, maybe your neck, your teeth. You might be having sinus issues, nosebleeds, etc. That's all part of this expansion right now because the old energy is being cleared out. So, uh, they were letting me know the meridians right now that are being recalibrated, central and governing, uh, kidney and liver and lung. So those are some of the key ones that have kind of come in for us as a collective as well. Okay. So yeah, check out all my playlists. I'm just going to uh, take out my, it says, check out all my playlists because I have tons of information there for sources, for Blu-rays, for Twin Flames, because that's how I started uh, creating these videos for you all. And yeah, so I really... Uh, started to delve into the 12 chakra system right around 2012. I started to remember about it. And I was reminded that I actually am bringing in advanced ascension mechanics, like many of us are, but you know, we all speak a different language, a different um, way of bringing it in. So this message today is light encoded. It's going to help you align with the energies and hear what you need to hear. But yes, you might be sleeping a lot. You might be tired. You may need sea salt baths, nature. Remember to hydrate and that we are going through another leveling up, another expansion. Okay. All right. So we're going to, I'm going to just ask for the other best messages to come in for us as I do this reading for the 222 portal. And absolutely, you, you will start to see number sequences that your angels, your team, your higher self, the universe is bringing to you. It means something. So the 222 codes are definitely connected to the heart and the high heart activations. Also about the divine feminine stepping into her power and all of us receiving um, that divine feminine balance. I literally had a dream this morning and they were showing me how the divine feminine within me and all of us was getting um, recalibrated. It's almost as if I went somewhere and I was picking up divine feminine energy and bringing her home with me. And that kind of resonates because it's a lot, uh, connects to uh, be, being back in balance and allowing, like we're to, we're allowed to be strong. We absolutely can be warriors, but we're being called to be more in our divine feminine receiving mode as well. Okay. I feel like we're all adjusting to our new roles this year. All right. Let's pull this card. Oh, so interesting. I'm going to pull another one. So what came in? The divine masculine. And that's such a galactic energy for the Pleiades from the Sirius star system, the blue rays. So this is an activation for all star seeds, but I'm going to pull another one as well. Number 22 for the 22nd. You can't make it up. So, so yes, we all have divine masculine energy within us. We're all becoming, we're all bringing that aspect more online to bring the more of the divine masculine online. We have to, you know, activate more of the divine feminine, but isn't that amazing? It's number 22. So it says the frequency of divine masculine supports our strong, focused and active side, allowing us to express us ourselves while helping us to bring our dreams and ideas into form and kindness with, and with kindness and wisdom. And you know what? It is the divine masculine energy within us that gets us going, that gets things done. So some of you might need this. So some of you might, you'll know where you're, you're out of balance. You're maybe you're overdoing so your, your divine masculine is, is overworking and you need more of the receiving or vice versa. Okay. Well, I'm totally in a divine masculine state right now, but I don't feel like I'm pushing it, but I really am feeling very, very creative right now and very, very productive. Yeah. Very productive. Creativity is both, but very productive. Um, like getting a lot of things off my list and on my list. All right. This is the message for all of us. I think this came in last time. Number 31, magic. 
So our, we're, our, more of our magic, intuitive, and superpowers are coming online. The frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond this moment, to move forward, possibilities, and to um, to be the expression that are, is as grand and profound as we can imagine. All that is required is our belief in our manifestations. So to believe that we are worthy of what we wish to align with. And we may feel worthy in this avatar, but there might be other aspects and other timelines that don't, that are blocking us as well. That's why I, that's why I do the work that I do. That's why I share. That's why I offer the 12 to 22nd uh, dimensional quantum Akashic clearing and healing sessions to help you clear multidimensional uh, timelines, lifetimes, including galactic and intergalactic, and allow you to be more in your power, more aligned with your sovereign being in this now moment. Yeah. All right. So that's a number 22 and a number 31. Let's see what else wants to come in. Just as I'm shuffling, if anybody would like to work with me, there's still some intro offer packages on my website. They're at the top of my website. Yes, my website is a work in progress, but I am cleaning it up and I'm moving things around. Uh, please email me if you have any questions. Um, what else do they want? There's going to be some openings for the new Aloha Portal of Light. It's going to be one, a one month at a time uh, membership now, like we're going to call it a community. It's really a portal of love. Uh, I just did three months with an amazing group of souls. Thank you all who joined. And then um, stay tuned because I feel like I will be announcing that offer this Friday and for this weekend. So again, check out the community tab and I'll try to share it on Facebook and Telegram as well. Okay. All my social media as well is below in the comments. Okay. So solar light upgrades goes right along with the solar flares. And one thing I shared in the podcast is the solar flash is going to be a very extreme large solar flare. So that's why the solar flares are getting stronger to allow us time to adapt to our, our activations. We are going from, some of you are going from uh, carbonized to crystalline, crystalline, crystalline. <laughs> Car, I've gone through such an upgrade overnight. You're going from carbon-based to crystalline-based. Thank you. And some of you are going from crystalline-based to plasma-based. There you go. And then there are those of us that have we, we've activated our plasma light body, and we're moving into higher levels of plasma frequency. So that's where I'm at right now. So I will be bringing in and sharing more about the plasma light body through um, the coming weeks and months. But everybody's at a different level, and I help all levels, okay? So... What we're going through right now is going to increase. So if you're having a hard time now, find some tools that work with you. Um, find a support group. Find someone that you can work with that can assist you, bring you the answers and the tools that you need right now, because yes, it's going to get stronger and stronger. And then I did, in the podcast, I did talk about the solar flash. And I believe I talked about it in the last couple of videos as well. So you can check that out. So we are going through a solar light upgrade. Solar plexus chakra, inner fire willpower. So we are calling... We're healing and integrating lost soul fragments. We're calling back our power and our abundance from all directions of time. And the solar flares are helping us. They're helping us remember. They're helping us expand our consciousness. Okay, then we have the soul star activation. I love it. So the soul star is that um, when we activate beyond the seven chakra system, we move into the 12, 12 or 13 chakra system. So the soul star is... Everyone talks about it being a different number. So I'm just going to call it, say that it's the one, first one outside of the body up top of the head connected to our Akashic records. So it start, it helps us to start remembering past lives, gifts from other lifetimes. What other lifetimes were there traumas where we're healing? Okay. So right now we're fulfilling soul contracts and we are remembering who we are. So that's what all of this is about. Remembering who we are and what our mission is. Okay. And yes. I'll talk a little bit more about mission in a minute. Higher heart activation. I couldn't have, I have pulled better messages for us. That's why I still like to use Oracle decks so that I know what they're bringing me, what the universe is bringing me, what um, source universal energy is bringing me is the messages to share with all of you for today. Uh, dropping, our, we're, to, we're dropping our shields right now around the heart. So yes, I still recommend using some form of clearing and quantum auric field protection, especially if you live in a dense area or you're around hundreds and hundreds of people during the day. So not everybody on the planet who's sharing is experiencing that. Um, but I have, 
I, I am experiencing that. I My grid point right now is around a lot of people. Uh, oftentimes I take transit into the city. That's very busy. So I know I've tried it with or without. There's still a necessity for us if we're around lots and lots of people to not absorb everyone's energy and to deflect it's a lower vibration okay so the dropping the shields this is actually about our heart so many of us have placed barriers around our heart and a high heart for protection we've been hurt in this lifetime we've been hurt in you know our childhood we've been hurt in our teen years or other lifetimes and so we've got protection around our heart but we're just the universe is just letting us know that we're we're to set our intentions to receive divine love universal love and support support and love from our team you know what i mean so there's it's unconditional love that, that it's the message is drop the shields around your heart to receive this you're receiving divine love and your heart is healing how beautiful is that okay all right so those are our messages from that deck and i'm just gonna have a little sip of tea i will tell you right now for me what's clearing for me throat chakra lungs uh, third eye ultra major graded and uh, lots of activity in my teeth and my jaw right now. That's how I knew the Meridian system was getting upgraded as well. So this was a very, very intense um, upgrade, everyone. I just want to let you know that you're not imagining things, okay? Okay, I'm going to just pull some Galactic Heritage cards because I just want to see. I work, I work with different teams every day. So in this the session today, uh, the Lyran team of light wanted to come in. And there was lots of information coming in about the Orion system. Uh, this, the team I worked with yesterday during class was the Blu-ray team of light. And Archangel Michael wanted to come in. So now it's so awesome that I've, I've figured out for me to go to Source Universal Energy in the morning, align with the light, and then ask which team I should work with. And yes, there's all sorts of messages about who we work with. And I will talk about that another time. I want this to be a very high vibe message okay so we've got some blu-ray teams that are coming in right now blu-ray teams beautiful okay so the orion um energy is at the bottom of the deck so that's from the past so that is some healing and some traumas that some of you are working on i have been integrating and healing um traumas from the orion system just in the last couple of weeks so as you can see i'm very up up about it because i know I'm get it's bringing me more back into my power for the mission here on earth. Okay. All right. So what's come in is the serious system has come in twice, which that divine masculine card really reminds me more of the serious system than the Palladian system. So I feel like for all of you blue rays who are connected to the serious star system, that is, um, that's what this is all about. So serious has come in twice. One of the messages coming full circle and calling our parts home i love it like just confirming all the messages so we're literally healing and integrating aspects from all timelines and realities so that's what the serious star team is helping with us many of us do right now i also asked which team wanted to come in today and it was the arcturian team so they're helping to channel in uh, the messages for me as well to share with all of you today as well okay uh number 87 holographic healing the Pleiades. So some of you are very drawn to working with the Pleiadians. I work with them too. Like when I'm really feeling not well, when I'm really feeling like I can't take one more solar flare, I call the Pleiadians in and ask to be um, placed in the healing chamber with them. And I trust them because I have actually, they're the first star family that I was reconnected with in the 90s. And even back then, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. Um, but I I just worked my way through and they were the team that was able to come in and help me most and bring me the answers that I needed. I needed galactic answers. I needed to know why I was seeing ships. I needed to know why I wasn't fitting in. I needed, you know, and it all stemmed from being blocked to find a job. I went and had a reading because of that. And then I, all this information about Palladians came in, but they're, they've been such an integral part of my healing and they're saying holographic healing. So the healing that we're going through is multidimensional and it's helping us with our holographic experience here on earth. So I've just gotten to a point of accepting what I need to do and heal and clear on a daily basis. And then I can work through it much quicker and then my new reality can show up. If you feel like you're stuck, if you feel like you're not moving, you probably are in the void. And we had a great... Um, Great channeling in about this yesterday. We're literally put in a waiting room or a void. It's not happening to us. The universe is waiting for us to give 
say, I'm ready to move out of the void. I've, I'm crystal clear. I know what direction I want to go in. So you're put in the void for healing, for clarity, for protection. And then when you're ready to move on, literally the universe is asking you uh, what direction do you want to go in? Honestly, I w <laughs> wish I'd known that years ago. I remember I went for a card reading and the lady pulled one card and she pulled the hangman. And all she said to me was, oh, you're in the waiting room. That's it. Like, she, and I said, what am I to do about it? And she just looked at me like there was not, she had no answers for me. And I remember thinking, well, that was a real waste of my time. <laughs> but in actual fact, that was the universe saying you're in the waiting room, but she didn't have the information to tell me how to move out. Isn't that funny? Okay. So I'm going to pull some tarot messages. I'm going to show, and then some clarity cards. Great messages for us all today. Honestly, everybody, they are amazing. Okay. Bottom of the deck heart heartache and loss number three so that's what this whole month has been about healing multi-dimensional heartaches okay some of them are twin flame and divine related some are related like i said family childhood um and and those stem from other realities and timelines lifetimes as well okay past lives all right first message positive movement forward so the whole february and today is to get crystal clear and use the energies of this power of triple number day uh to to for positive momentum and moving forward then we have zero reset new beginnings that's the universe saying get crystal clear let me know when you're ready i'll start moving you forward you're going to go through a zero reset like a reboot and your root chakra your base chakra is being recalibrated and healed to be here all right we all chose to be here i know many are homesick but you're homesick because there's aspects of yourself that are still in other timelines and you're here on mission. You were called in for mission like we all are and we're all needed. You're all needed as well. So you've got you've got a starseed mission, a Blu-ray mission. Um, maybe you're at a precipice in your life and it's time to start something new. You're all needed and you're all being called. OK. All right. Clarity for positive movement forwards. We got the temperance card and balance. So everything, like I said, is being rebalanced at this time and that's good we need balance okay so like that's the like doing too much is more divine masculine you need to receive receive uh sitting around receiving your divine masculine may want to start to kick in and help you work move forward with some of your projects okay all right zero reset new beginnings you know the clarity card is the eight of pentacles which is somebody who's working passionately on their dreams they're bringing in their manifestations and it's bringing them abundance so for some of you who are looking for more levels of abundance the universe is waiting for you to share your gifts in some way okay and then that door will open and that moves right into root chakra because root chakra off balance is stress fear anxiety not feeling grounded and not aligned with abundance as well okay you got we got the three of cups celebration so yes yeah, celebrate celebrate your root chakra is being has been healed through all of this healing our heart chakra has been healing our root chakra and okay so this is a heartache and loss guess what the clarity card is the empress this has been to move up and out thousands of years of information that's been holding you all back to be an open-hearted queen of hearts king of hearts uh and to move forward okay the the de the card underneath that is the death card yeah death of the old death of another level of the ego and to help us move into being of service and being kind and compassionate to ourselves and to others okay beautiful messages oh okay so for those of you who are, who are like are there any divine union or twin flame messages so everybody i shared this you can check out i did a video for january to march that's on my playlist um for all the twin flames and divine unions and if you come and have a session with me and that information will automatically come in or you can ask me about it but basically the mini version is the our planet we're waiting for our planet to get on a high enough frequency for a lot of divine partnerships to come together on mass okay but look at this number two spiritual union so since the second of february since february 2nd at two we have been waiting we and we have been working on the spiritual union within the balance and the union of the divine feminine masculine within and that's what this whole month has been about how beautiful is that and the card below that is accelerated motion which is my star seed 
Sirius Pleiadian Lyran uh, 8 8 Lionsgate. Like, there's our star families going, You can do it. You can do it. You're almost there. Okay. So, yeah, things are really going to start to accelerate. I'm just going to see if there's any sort of clarity card for the union card, just to see if there's anything for, about the unions that wants to come in, just as a little mini message. Oh, yeah. Five of Swords. So, this is about um, there's been past battles with you and your divine partner in other timelines and other realities and there's still some sneaky energy around that wants to interfere with the union so again that's why some of the delays have been going on um let me just see what else but it's clearing okay <clears throat> and the other part party has to do their own healing and clearing so there was a time we had a we had a brief portal for about two years where we were able to to do a lot of our healing and that other person would all automatically start doing their healing but it came to a halt where it's just like the 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 divine partner needed to go over here and start working on soul mission and the other partner had to get into their own healing so that too they're starting to do lots of healing and clearing and that's really good news and let's see what the accelerated motion clarity card wants to be oh i love it it's eight. <laughs> I love it. Eight, eight lions gate. So everything's been about like, that's what's been coming to me. Uh, since last year, the Lyran aspects and the Lyran messages are getting stronger and stronger because many of us are connected to the Lyran story and it's time for us to be in our power. It's time for us to be on mission and to be, to stand together. And I'm so excited that they both came in together. So that is the Leo energy, the lion energy, the eight, eight lion's gate, which is August 8th. For those of you who are new, welcome by the way, to all my new subscribers. I'm so grateful that you're here. Okay, I'm just going to see <clears throat> from the Heart Sigils deck if there's any other chakras that they want me to talk about besides so the upper ones and the root. Uh, sacral. So sacral sacral chakra is also healing. That's where um, a lot of imprinting of shocks and traumas are. That's preventing the third eye from activating as well. Let's see if there's anything else. Third eye. And there's that message of go and hang out with the trees. That's what I'm going to do after I... After I share this video with you all, trees help us ground, help us to realign. Okay, they're just, I was just checking in. So they're just letting me know. I don't have the paper with me. Oh, I had it. Okay, so the 22nd chakra system is also an advanced, um, an advanced <laughs> ascension. I'm trying to look for the words. Advanced ascension technology that I've been working with for quite a while because some of you are ready to be more aligned with that frequency connecting you to source and your mission okay so if you're confused about what to ask for just email me as well I usually suggest a 12 dimensional 12 chakra system session to begin with if you're new okay all right so now we're moving into dragons unicorns and crystals so we, I love this I call this dragon in today so I've been working with this dragon while I've been out doing my grid work it's the earth and the fire dragon uh, works with you to clear the fifth dimensional ley lines. It's time for service when you give and you receive. If you were all sitting there going, I have no idea what my mission is. But you like being outdoors. Work with this dragon and ask the dragon to help you clear the ley lines and the energies in your area. That is being of service. And that's what Gaia needs. And that's what your whole neighborhood and, and um, wherever you are, that's what is needed and that's you being of service and that's you starting to give back and then other doors will open for you as well okay oh i love it the golden solar dragon perfect i feel like this dragon is very very helpful for those of you who are super sensitive to the solar flares it says it helps you to stand in your masculine power and your wisdom and it's letting your dna be reprogrammed with the light codes are being activated so there you go so uh, those of you who are struggling you can work with the golden solar dragon I just want to see the other goddess that I've been working with uh, has been Kuan Yin. <clears throat> nope, she didn't come in. I was just curious. Hold on. I wanted to see if her dragon came in, but it didn't. But the third dragon that came in is the Golden Atlantean dragon. So some of you are, again, healing, clearing, and integrating 
uh, aspects of yourself from Atlantis. This is golden Atlantis. This is when Atlantis was high frequency and you had many abilities. So there was a period where Atlantis was very beautiful. And this is helping you to remember the wisdom, uh, your gifts from golden Atlantis. Okay. I'm just going to do one. Yeah, I'm just going to do one unicorn and one crystal because I want to make sure that um, that this video is not too long. This message is not too long. So we have the unicorn of compassion, another level of our high heart opening up. So we have unconditional love and compassion for all beings. So this is like, again, the message is be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. So forgiveness is a superpower and uh, see the light in yourself and others. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you, unicorns, who are ninth dimensional beings. Um, and let's pull a crystal for us all. Moonstone. Okay, so some of you might really be still trying to recover from the, the uh, new moon energy, or you really react to both the new moons and the full moons. Moon, new, moon. <laughs> <laughs> just losing it today moonstone hopefully that made you laugh moonstone is a great crystal to help us yeah open up our intuitive abilities receive divine feminine energy like be more of a receiver but also balance out um the moon energy so this is for the moon cycles number 28 moonstone beautiful okay my beautiful tribe that's today saying thank you for liking subscribing sharing this video if you'd like to work with me check out uh, my contact details below again a couple of packages still on intro offer they're at the top of my website if you have any questions about sessions um, or working with me email me love and aloha mahalo nui loa uh, take care everyone have a great 222 portal february 22nd bye